definitely some scary uh, situations out there in Lake Erie. Let's take a closer uh, look at the weather events happening from coast to coast. And first, we're going to start off in the West Coast, where the story really is the heat, and it's in through the Okanagan. That sunshine is going to continue inland. A little bit cooler temperatures for areas along the coast, though, as we move later into the week. But again, it's really that heat in through the Okanagan. You can definitely see that with uh, Kelowna 30, Kamloops 30, and uh, Nelson 31. This is for tomorrow. And on Friday, you know, 29, still pretty hot there. And again, as I mentioned, the coastal uh, areas will be a little bit uh, cooler than normal, but uh, still a nice day. It's the heat in through the Okanagan that we're talking about. Skipping over the prairies, there's been some active weather there, but it's really the active weather in through the east and the Maritimes and the Atlantic that we're really focusing on as Tropical Storm Aaron reaches the Maritimes. It's definitely something that we've been talking about throughout the news and uh, it's going to reach tomorrow. So let's take a closer look at that system as it's moving across. There is a cold front that's scraping across New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, bringing with it some of those unsettled conditions already. But there is that system heading over uh, Nova Scotia, bringing with it some of that uh, heavy rainfall and again, you know, strong winds. Nothing uncommon for the wind gusts but it is definitely strong. The rainfall accumulation uh, could be higher in areas where there is that thunderstorm, but uh, definitely heavy rainfall across the board. Environment Canada already issuing tropical cyclone statements. And what that means is, again, just that heavy uh, rain, that blistery wind, and this is as a result of Aaron, and it's going to happen a little later into the week, uh, in through Thursday and Friday. That's when the Maritimes will see it. I'm Marta Chilovich. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. Record water levels for the Great Lakes, especially Lake Erie, that broke a record. Uh, the last record was set in 1986. So August has a, a definitely a higher water level in its store. Uh, Wednesday overnight in Toronto, 16, so definitely closer to seasonal, which is 15. Some people might say it's chilly, but that's normal for this time of year. Moisture in the atmosphere, it's providing some of that uh, ingredient for the storms, fueling some of those storms that we could see in uh, northeastern Ontario for the morning part of the day. And then in through the evening hours, we could see something in through southern Ontario, so potential for that heavy rainfall. Again, if you do see something in Mississauga, you might not see it in Toronto. So that risk, uh, just a closer look at the GTA, no rain in store for the GTA in the icons. But again, you could see some of that rain fall uh, in through the evening hours. 25 in Toronto, so closer to seasonal. 24 in Newmarket, 23 in Guelph. Nice temperatures across the board uh, heading into the long weekend, of course. Let's take a look at a Colorado couple that had some unwelcome visitors. Know the weather and don't drink and vote. Definitely some good tips to take with you heading into the long weekend, but let's talk about the forecast a little closer tomorrow. Thursday morning, starting off the day at 16 degrees in Toronto. Heating up, though, to 25 degrees, feeling like 27, so definitely a beautiful day in store for tomorrow. But there is a chance of some showers. It's going to be coming through a little bit later in the evening for areas in GTA, but watch as this front passes over northeastern Ontario, bringing with it the chance for that heavy rainfall in through the morning hours, and then these cells will track through southwestern Ontario and parts of uh, central Ontario bringing with it the chance for those heavy rains a little later in through Thursday evening. A quick look at the risk area again as I mentioned we'll see St. Marie for that heavy rainfall and then through so southern Ontario along the shores there Windsor, London and Toronto. You see you might see a storm in Mississauga but you might not see one in Toronto so it's definitely going to be scattered in nature but the potential for heavy rainfall is there. A quick look at some of those temperatures across the board in Ontario Nice little start to the day Thursday, uh, but let's check back in with Rachel Schutzen about a video we brought to you a little bit earlier. It's about a water spout video and it's gaining some response. So let's take a look at uh, what they have to say about this video. Well, we're actually tracking two tropical systems in the south. I'm Marta Chirilovich. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. There's one that could impact Atlantic Canada as early as tomorrow and in through Friday. It's Tropical Depression Aaron, and we can see the track making its way into Nova Scotia and New Brunswick for Thursday, and then in through Friday, Newfoundland will see some of those heavy rainfalls. The Gulf Stream is helping to push this uh, depression as the warmer waters sort of fuel uh, it as it makes its way into the northern north into 
to uh, Atlantic Canada. Again, uh, here's a little bit of Aaron's influence in through Thursday. We can see it just nestling over Nova Scotia and New Brunswick, bringing that uh, heavy rainfall. But there's this high pressure area that's going to push that system fairly quickly uh, and impact Newfoundland a little bit later. That's where we can see some of that uh, possible uh, influence from Aaron, of course. And um, this is just a closer look at that rainfall accumulation with numbers. If you do see a thunderstorm in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick for Thursday, that's where we see that risk for the heavier rainfall amounts in through Thursday and Friday, Newfoundland, you could see some of the remnants of that uh, tropical depression. Aaron will definitely be keeping an eye on it. Definitely some good tips to take with you heading into the long weekend, but let's talk about the forecast a little closer tomorrow. 